Phoenix fire crews responding to a mountain rescue on Camelback got some help from an eye in the sky today. The whole thing caught on one of our drone cameras. 12 News journalist Rachel Cole joining us now with a behind the scenes look at what crews look for when a hiker experiences heat exhaustion. Rachel. Hey, yeah, we're out here with one of the many rescues that we talk about this time of year. Hikers still lingering down Camelback Mountain. We're over here on the east side right now. And we're talking with Phoenix Fire Captain Scott Douglas about the drone being in the air, trying to find these people right away. What's the situation? So right now we have an adult male on the Choya side of Camelback Mountain who's experiencing heat exhaustion. He obviously got up here before they closed the trail down due to heat. Um, he was making his way down. It looks like he is unable to continue. At this time, we have the drone up in the air providing a live feed, as you can see here. It's hard to see with your camera, but this provides our command officers real-time information as far as what's going on up on the mountain, what our crews are doing. And what's fascinating is we're able to actually see where the ground crews are in proximity to the victim who needs aid. And so they're getting closer and closer. But we're also seeing, you know, the, the patient is wearing jeans. He has a 12-ounce bottle of water. You guys want hikers to heed caution that is not the way to do it right yeah wearing a black shirt wearing not having enough water getting out when these temperatures are so extreme uh, this is what we warn people about all summer long and we want to make sure that people understand that you need to know your limits you need to make sure you're wearing proper attire you get out before it's hot um, and, and, and take care of yourself. Yes, sir, Captain. Thank you so much. Obviously, their crew's hard at work. We saw them all trekking up this long stretch to get off on the Toya side. So, again, big reminders for safety, especially during these excessive heat warnings. We're going to send it back to you guys in the studio, but please stay with 12 News for that heat beat and where you can find relief and stay off the trails when they are closed. Back to you. Rachel.